Okay, so in this quick video, I'm going to cover the admins tab of the Dream Factory Admin Console. So first, I'll talk about the Manage view. So here, there are two admins, one of whom is me, uh, in this top row. And all of the admins of the system will be listed here. So what is an admin? An admin is basically somebody who logs in to this administrative console. So I'm an admin, I have access to all of the information here, and I can set up apps, I can set up roles, users, services, etc. Uh, from this administrative interface. So all of your admins are listed here. You can upload, uh, export, or download a list of all of your admins. If you have many admins, that's a nice uh, feature. You can toggle on between different views as well, and everything will appear here. So pretty simple. So one question that often comes up is, do developers on a team or external to your company have to be administrators? And the answer is it's really up to you. They don't have to be. So for example, you can create them as regular users and give them specific role access to different APIs, which we call services here. They can also go into the, uh, they could go into the apps tab from Launchpad, and what they could do there is just access, for example, the Swagger uh, UI, which shows you and documents the various API endpoints. So it's really quite flexible and depends on whether or not you want to give you know, total access to your developers. It really depends on your use cases, but it's up to you how you do it. Uh, but either way, there has to be at least one administrator, obviously, to control the system. So to create an admin, very easy. Some basic information, you fill out this form. Uh, all of these users, by the way, including admins, are stored natively inside of Dream Factory. They're stored in a SQL database that comes with the platform. So you can access that database uh, from the UI here. You can also access it directly to the database if you want to do that. But typically, people just put in the admin information right into this UI. So the email, uh, first name, last name, display name, et cetera. You can customize these fields beyond what's here if you want, but this is the basic information. You can set the password for a new admin manually. You can make them active or inactive. If you don't set the password manually, uh, the person will receive an email at this email address, and then they go through a confirmation process by which they sign up and put in their own credentials, their username and password, kind of self-service. So that's all there is to it. Uh, to edit an admin's information, click on their name in the or their record in the list. Their information will be here, and you can update it as needed. Uh, there's also uh, the notion of uh, lookup keys. I'll quickly explain. So lookup keys are key value pairs that give additional access. So let's say, for example, you have an Oracle database uh, that is on premises behind your firewall, and you've created a service for that and you want to give special access to that database. So say there's a key, credential key in that database that some administrators might have, but others wouldn't have. So this particular user would have this Oracle DB access key here, and then when they authenticate, they have special privileges to get into that database and see particular tables or particular records, that kind of thing. So that's a quick rundown of the admins tab, and we'll cover some more things like users and roles in the other tutorials in this set of screencasts on YouTube and from our GitHub, or sorry, from our wiki, which is wiki.dreamfactory.com. Thanks.